my family says it's spicy, but they're all wimps. Um, oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Welcome back. Do you think you're watching a whiskey tribe then? Or whiskey vault, should I say? Anyway, welcome back. So yes, we're doing part two of the, well I say part two, we made part four because we've done three of these before, but in the last two that have come out, so black bottle. This is the other bottle. I was going to do it straight away, but then a couple of other videos, or one video, I can't remember, uh, got in the way of that. So yeah, it's another one from that Alchemy series. This is number four. Um, if you don't know about Black Bottle, Black Bottle, it is a blended Scotch whiskey, and they have done an Alchemy series. They number one and two were Double Cask and um, Island Smoke. Then the last one we did was Andy and Oak, and this one today is Smoke and Dagger. Right. Yes, so I'm. Maybe it's smoky and got a sharp taste in your mouth. Who knows? It actually said discover smoke and salt with caramel on there. So um, it sounds good. Um, is it good? Let's find out. Let's find out. So yeah, 46.3% in volume. It's over 40. It's always a winner. So let's give it a go. Well, I think I've done all these. Screw cap. Meh. I'm not a fan of the screw cap at all. So as far as everyone's gone, um, double cask I might do bothered about. Island Smoke was pretty good. Andy and Oak I did last time was pretty good as well. So um, hopefully this is going to be another winner. Um, one thing I still say about these is they are also not high end. This is uh, this is quite a cheap bottle of whiskey um, around the 20 to 25 pound mark and wherever you buy it from. Um, but in that sense, for how much you're paying, you're paying for your buck, as they say, I think it's a good good whiskey, you know. If you want a few bottles of your collection, try out some things, you can't really knock these, really. Then it's not amazing, but you can know that by the price in general, but on the lower, the lower scheme of things, these have been pretty decent bottles so far, so can't complain at all. I had to go and brush my teeth. I don't know what it is, but every time I decide to do a whiskey video, it always seems to be the night we have sort of well, my family says it's spicy, but they're all wimps. Um, but uh, something with spice in it. So I have to, you know, I want a clean palate and I always do that. I'm like, oh no, I was going to do a video tonight. And I always forget, but never mind. Anyway, I digress. So yes, this is a quite, a, it's quite a light, ambery golden colour. Legs aren't overly sticking. I mean, there's still some, Still some thickness in there. There's something I found on Wikipedia. Are you serious? Slowhand is a 1977 what? album by Eric Clapton. Released on the 25th of November by RSO Records, and titled after Clapton's nickname, it is one of his commercially and critically most successful studio albums. What? Oh, did, I, did I say anything that sounded like the A-word? I don't even know what Eric Clapton's song they're on about then, but... Muff on the playback, I might listen to what it says. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh dear, technology. It's another thing I need to switch off when I'm doing videos. Anyway, thanks for that, love. Um, yeah, legs. Yeah, it's got some. <laughs> Let's take it on the nose, shall we? So yeah, this, this has got a... Um, this has got a bit of an Arbeggy sort of note to it. Has got that Isla Punge, getting that peatiness in there. Um, I don't know. Um, so what does it say about it? So I'm just see. It says set sail to new frontiers of flavour and discover a secret fusion of smoked and charred oak, melded together by our whiskey alchemist, create one deep and intriguing spirit, smoke and dagger. So yeah, um, smoke. So yeah, I don't know if they've artificially smoked it. Or they've gone down the peat line, but it's definitely got a uh, it's definitely got a peaty note to it. 
you know, your Arbegs and Lefroy. So I'm already happy in that sense, nose wise. The slight sweetness there. I'm getting more toffee than um, salted caramel, if I'm being honest. That's things will send the bottle in it. Yeah, salted caramel. I get more of a toffee note. But that's just me. Yeah, getting the saltiness. You know, the usual notes that you get from a an Isla whiskey. Which, you know, if they're going for that, it's, surely it's very... I know they've, they've obviously done a different... They've, they've done it a different way, but... I should, I should have... If I'd have known, I'd have pulled the Isla Smoke one out. The Isla Smoke, whatever it's called. Their one. To see if there's much difference between the two. But yeah. So, on the nose, as far as I can remember, very similar. Mmm. Right, right. Mmm. Oh, wow, yeah. There is that salted caramel. That is really sweet. Mmm. Like I said, for the price you're paying for it, you can't knock it. It might be a bit too sweet in some people's eyes, I reckon, because it is very sweet. So next to no burn. Just first off in the mouth, I'm getting that smokiness. Not overly smoky. Um, just more of your standard, you know, Maybe like the Lefroy 16, maybe, or I'll put more on the Arbeg range, to be honest. Yeah, probably more Arbeg 10 or something than, than that, but the finish is so sweet. Really getting that salted caramel. It just gets stronger and stronger. You start getting a taste of it, and the finish just comes on more and more. So that, yeah, that's really sweet. It's a slight sort of um, a caramelised apple in there. So you know, obviously, when apples are caramelised, you know, you boil them and so on and so forth, they do, or oven them, should I say, they do become a more, um, you know, they're not as sharp. So they get all that more dull, sweet appleness. And it's very much like that. But that caramel is still there. Still getting that sweet caramel hit in the back of my throat. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I like different things. You know, I'm not I'm not a whiskey needs to be this way kind of person. I'm more than happy to try different things. And that has got a really nice makes a nice change, you know. It's nice to have the same difference. No point having everything being the same. Um which obviously whiskey drinkers, you're gonna know that. Obviously that's why you buy more whiskeys and try more whiskeys to get these different nuances and notes in them. But yeah, mm. Ooh. nice. Like I said, you, I've said it already two times in this video, you cannot, for the price of this, you can't knock it. It's a good whiskey. Really good whiskey for the price, you know, I mean, for the same price, you know, you can get your lower end ones in most shops. Um, you know, your bloody you know, Johnny Walker Black or Red or well, basically most shelved whiskies, really. And this is much better. There's so much more about this than them typical standard shelf whiskies or the, the, the crap that you get whenever you go to a hotel bar or anywhere like that and they've just got whatever on the shelf and never any Glen Kearns. Why? Why? I've never before I might have said this story before but I've never had Oban before. I think they had an Oban 11 maybe and I was like oh John I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't had any of this I'd really like to try it. Gave it to me in a big massive tumbler. It just didn't do it for me. You know you know nose is the smell is like I don't know, 70, 80% of the whole taste and experience, as they say, and it just killed it for me. So, anyway, back to this. Very good. I'm not going to say much more because they seem to be the only note, sort of notes I'm getting off that, but 
Mm. Very good. Not a bad little budget jobby. So yeah, I'll leave that there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe and all that. Everything's in the description below, links to stuff. And I will see you all on the next Jeeps Reviews, which will be alcohol again because I recently purchased four little samples of some rums and I finally got my hands on some mermaid salt vodka. So um, they will be coming up next. So I will hopefully see you all then. Or you'll sell me then, you know what I mean? I can't see you. Um, I can see when you like though, when you subscribe, that's always nice. Thank you. Till next time, you bastards.